Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you part 2 of how to make a laser show using Cubic. So let's get started. In this part, I'm going to be showing you how to install some very cool customization programs for GNOME and for LXQ and for the Ubuntu desktop environment, which there is the competitor which you can edit the taskbar and in GNOME you can edit the dock, you can edit a bunch of, a bunch of things. And we're also going to install Wine. So why Wine and not Play on Linux? Since you can't install Play on Linux in uh, uh, Ubuntu for some reason. I tried doing it the old fashioned way, typing in sudo app install Play on Linux. It gives this error, so Play on Linux cannot be installed. But Wine can. And Wine is basically not doesn't have a GUI, but it's the same thing as Play Analytics. Okay, so let's first, as our first thing, install Wine. To do it, just type in sudo apt install Wine. Okay. Uh, for you, I already installed Wine, so it's already installed. But for you guys, it won't be installed. And normally, this takes like a couple minutes to install, so. Not as long as the one to desktop takes, but definitely takes some time. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is install all these cool customization tools. So we're gonna do sudo apt install gnome dash tweaks. And let's wait for gnome tweaks to install. This doesn't take so while. Gnome tweaks is installed. Let's wait for this thing to complete. Okay, now we're gonna install the competitor by typing in sudo apt install the comp dash editor. And we can actually use this even now to make some changes in GNOME, LXQT. So let's do that. So wait for it to bring us our prompt back. Just type in the comp dash editor. Cannot open it here in this terminal environment for some reason. I know exactly why this happens, but you can't. Okay, now we're gonna move on on to something else, and that is gonna be to uh, customize NeoFetch a bit. Not customizing the logo, but definitely customizing the text, like there where it says, so we can uncomment some stuff, comment some stuff. It's gonna be, it's to make customize NeoFetch. So to customize it, first we need to go into NeoFetch directory, which is usr slash bin. Type in enter. Now we're in there. Now we can type in ls or just l, and there we go. Let's go here to the ends. Ends. And here we have it. NeoFetch. Now we can just type in nano NeoFetch. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff here that's common. So let's just go a little bit down. And we're gonna uncommon, we're gonna common terminal font since that's not extremely important to show you which terminal font. So just put a hashtag in front of it and that will hide it. It's not gonna read that. Similar to Python where you put a hashtag in front of your lines, it doesn't read them. Okay, but for example, we're gonna uncomment. So, because this is very important, it has to show your GPU driver. That's very important. As well as your disk space, and some people don't wanna go into disk usage analyzer and then check how much disk space they have left. Maybe some even wanna have info on their battery, so we're gonna uncomment that. 
we're gonna uncommon users so it shows the users you have and here we're gonna hide some more stuff like we don't need um, info about the shell that you can check th that's not very important so we're gonna just uncheck information by shell by putting a hashtag in front of it i know this looks very complex but it's not that you just add hashtags remove hashtags it looks it's kind of easy that's what i have to tell you okay we don't need any of this so we're gonna comment both of these things out vm and wm team and you don't even need to see your icons since you can just open open settings and check that from there so if you want to type in neopage none of this is important but it's important for it to show you the terminal you have and we and and now here we have uh, this we want to uncomment the example we, the example actually has to stay uncommon but that's all in terms of Neopets for now uh, so to save our changes all you have to do is type in control X save modified just type in Y that's yes and finally, to write Neofetch, type in enter. And now we can type in Neofetch again. Check that out. Our changes are there. See, it doesn't show icons anymore. It shows our graphics. It shows everything that we changed earlier. Okay. Now, I would uh, install a snap for them. So just type in sudo apt install snap. Since snap is what Sasumi, Firefox, a lot of programs use snap. So make sure you install it. Okay. Now, we're going to take a look at uh, Python, so we're just going to run it and see if, oop, we have to run Python 3, see if we can install Python since I didn't show you that in the last video, and now we can just run pin print hello world, actually we can do it like this, let's just do a simple print, I know hello Python and Hello World doesn't have to do anything with this, but we just have to test out Python. And it works. And now just to exit, type in exit, and then rockets, there we go. Now do two cd dot dots to go back to our home folder or our root folder. Okay, now we're again back in the root. Now maybe we wanna for them install Sasumi. So you have to do a sudo snap install Sasumi. It looks like that the server for Sasumi is down for some reason. Uh, it looks like that the server for Sasumi is down for some reason. Okay, so that is all I planned for part two. In part three, we're gonna take a look at actually customizing the logos for NeoFetch and then compiling it all into an ISO file and then running it inside VirtualBox. So this is the end of part two. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down in the comment section down below. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And with all this, bye!